Arataki numero uno ito here in the flesh. <laughs> Welcome, friend of child. And congratulate you sound rem but back to the What agreement? Correct. Ah. Child is currently at Leolipa. Oh, oh, Paimon Ahem. The flagship restaurant of the Leap. Don't talk to Paimon like that. Aha, you made it. As promised, I have found someone who can help you. Someone who can solve the mystery of why the Liyue Chising would hide the Geo Archon's vessel. So, where is he? In Liyue Pavilion? He certainly is. Come, I'll introduce you. I took the liberty of setting up a business dinner, as per the Liyue custom. Welcome back, sir. You honor us with your patronage. Mr. Zhongli is awaiting your arrival in the room you booked. Allow me to introduce Mr. Zhong Li, consultant to an organization known as Wang Sheng, and a trusted associate of the Fatui. Indeed, Wang Sheng's line of work can be sensitive at times. Let's just say they understand when discretion is needed. And we, the Fatui, have always been glad to do business with friends who walk in the shadows. What? It is an honor to meet you. I have heard tell of you from Mondstadt. Discretion? Shadows? <sighs> Is Wang Shen some kind of business involving... dealing with people? Indeed. It is as you have guessed. <sighs> the Wang Shen Funeral Parlor organizes burials. We ensure that those who pass on 
do so in peace. Huh? <laughs> Did you think he was some sort of hired killer? The Fatui calls many such people friends, but the Wang Sheng funeral parlor does not dabble in such business. Well, ostensibly. Well, they are still... Uh, I shouldn't say too much. In any case, I brought you to meet Mr. Zhang Li because... Because I can bring you to see Rex Lapis's vessel. What? <laughs> Don't be so surprised. Sure, the Geo Archon's body has been squirreled away by order of the Tian Chuan Ning Guang. But first, let's hear what Mr. Zhang Li has to say, shall we? Rex Lapis may be the prime of Adepti. But he is ultimately an Adeptus. Many Adepti have left us over the millennia. This is the inexorable trend. The times have changed. You must have felt it. Archons go by many names. The God of Contracts. The God of Commerce. The War... As you have seen, in years past, Liu is tra... Yeah, the killer hasn't even been caught yet. Deicide or not, Traveler. Child has told me a lot about you. Well, if you... Indeed, no amount of consideration can change this outcome. The Tianquan Ning Guang has forbidden anyone from accessing Rex Lapis's vessel, which of course you would need to access if you were to achieve your goal of meeting all of the seven. Precisely. Only by participating in the rite of parting will you be able to see the form of Rex Lapis again. If we are agreed, come with me. We will speak of the details as we walk. All right, my bridge building work here is done. You can go if you want to. Don't worry about me. I might just have a few. After having experienced the land of the absentee Archon, Traveler, how do- Indeed. The weight of organizing the right of- Liu is the most pro- Ning Wang of the- Huh. What would child- I neither know nor- These are the advanced funds. Wow. Well then, let us- Welcome to the... It's cheap and it's fun, and who knows you... Bedding? No, no... Noctilucus Jade. Radiant Grade Noctilucus Jade? What do you think? The... These three pieces, but how do we pick? Should we just... <laughs> Very good. What do you think, Mr. Zhongli? Oh? 
Do you want me? If it were me, the ant. Oh? I'll take them all, boss. Oh, you act with. Oh, wait. wait. Hey, if we only need one for the ritual, aren't we. Oh, Mora. Hmm. It is as you say. I suppose I overlooked this particular aspect of the transaction. Huh? How do you not think about Mora when buying things? If one must always consider Mora before acting, then in all things one is bound by... Uh, what? All Mora is currency. What? Is this how the rich... Well, he knows a lot about big money. No need to waver. Even evaluating the quality only after the item made using Noctilucus Jade has taken shape will you be if you return to those crap. Whoa! To think it. But there is a way to truly evaluate this jade, and a true insider would know it. A fool sees the pointer and misses the moon. What does that mean? If you point at the moon with your finger, a wise man knows that you are pointing at the moon while a fool will only see the finger. The patterns, the facade, these are all... Noctilucus Jade of excellent quality would have... I have imparted the... Pr Priceless, huh? I'm on... We're back to buy some rocks, boss, but... Uh, burn them? You can't do that. That would... Well, how about this? I can take a small... Don't worry. I know the rules. As long as we can prove... All right. Take these as samples. I've carved them off. Aren't these too thick? Even paper's thicker. No, even a bug's wings... Stingy? I've already been very generous. Any more and you may as well have my neck. But wouldn't something this thin go poof if we held it to the fire? It can't be helped. Trying to deprive a merchant of his profits would be like forcing a ravenous wolf to vomit up the food in its stomach. Nonetheless, under the right conditions, these thin slices will serve. What sort of conditions? While we add the high temperatures using pyro, we can use hydro to reinforce it from within. This way, the samples will not disintegrate immediately. Oh! Oh, sir, to think you were this learned. Thank you for your understanding. Strictly speaking, asking for samples when we have not yet agreed to purchase the goods is unfair. Trade in Liyue must be based upon fairness. Well, guess we just need to find a place to try this out. Oh, Paimon remembers we once saw this big pot down at the Data Upa Gorge in the camp of the hilly churls from the Meaty Tribe. It's real sturdy and should be able to take the elemental reactions. Now, let's pack those samples up and make a move. men don't carry umbrellas? <laughs> oh, boy, wow, it's really starting to pick up. Uh, quick, come on, get this up. It has been a long time since I last set foot in the Nation of Wind. A friend of mine from Mondstadt would always bring a few bottles of locally brewed dandelion wine whenever he came to visit me in Mira. It must be... That's the pot! <sighs> it looks like the hilly trolls are still using it. It's a bit bright, but we gotta cut the line! I must leave no stone... Rain cutter! Freeze! Don't get 
frostbite. Oh, coming through! Can't catch me. Mr. Zhongli said that the shinier and bluer th Catch me. Nice and spicy. Yeah. That light like, came from the second knock to Lucas J, didn't it? More hilly trolls. They don't give up, do they? Looks like they're mad that we ruined their food. Let's go. It's showtime. <laughs> I must leave no stone unturned. Someone needs Boba, get them. Freeze. Catch me. Nice and spicy. Oh, that's bright. Too bright. <sighs> that was the third knock to Lucas Jade, wasn't it? It was so much shinier than the rest. Let's go with that one. Let's head back to the Jade Mystery to buy some Jade, shall we? You're back, my friends. I've kept the goods. Huh? No, it was. Think of it. Huh? No, it wasn't. Think of it. Huh? Exactly. That's the one. No problem. If you have your eye on. Then we'll take a box of the third. Done. All the same, and uh, pardon me for asking, but I'm curious. Hmm. Parting. Oh. oh, it's hard to believe. Even though the Jade Mystery, it is said that when our Lord lost his way while going in, alas, alas, all things must pass. Are you sure you didn't want? If not for our Lord's protection, this city. Oh, I 
I'm sure Rex Lab In the safe hands of the Liu Achisi. All right. Thank you, my friends. Now that we've made our choice. Hey, wait a minute. He said it was half. Oh, right. I'm sorry. As I thought. Any what? Mora. My apologies. Another oversight on my. Oh, that won't do. This is a. That's a relief. Have a look, boss. Is it enough? It's fine. Just enough for half price. <laughs> Though to be honest. Well, it's settled then. Let's take this jade to Yujing Terrace. That's where we plan to hold the right. Look at you bossing everyone around. <laughs> I will do my best. You have my thanks. Can't catch me. We can leave the jade here. I have already called for a jewelsmith to shape them into the implements that we will need. Ah, yes. I have yet to go and see child. So, as for the jewelsmith's remuneration... Guess we can't do anything else. Also, is this where we're doing the rite of parting? Yes. I have already rented this location, and have begun making preparations for the rite. That's right. The Liu e Qixing have acquiesced to using the same location. But when something this big happened here, should suspects like us really be at the crime scene? We might get caught by the Millilith. Although with that said, since we got back from Dway and Karst, none of those pesky Millilith soldiers have come chasing after us. Wonder what that's about. Also, the, uh, Rex Lapis vessel. Traditionally, we call it the Exuvia. Ah, oh, right! That's what. 
what it was called. You seem to know everything, Mr. Zhongli. Um, so, was this Exuvia hidden away by the Qixing? I mean, we haven't even figured out who the murderer is. One must think that they already have someone in mind. Or perhaps they already... These things are for the authorities in Yujing Terrace to consider. Trying to help would probably only add to their troubles. Before the rite is conducted, the Exuvia will be kept temporarily in the Golden House. Golden House? The only mint in Liu, which is to say the only mint into that. All the mora that flows throughout the world is minted there. Wow! Oh, no! Paimon wasn't thinking about anything bad. Paimon thinks it suits Morax. But why do you know this, Mr. Zhongli? Since the rite of parting has the approval of the Qixing, it is a semi-official event. As such, there is already some limited information available. Perhaps each has their motives. But this is the capital of commerce. A little exploitation once in a while is not unacceptable. In Liu, where the god of contracts reigns, only contracts may not be betrayed. I, for one, have no issue with little maneuvers outside their remit. Well then, we should go and prepare the perfumes used in the rite. Perfumes? Where will we get those? Do we buy them? No. Perfumes used to honor the gods must be freshly decocted. The quality of the silk flowers we require is also special. Silk flower petals contain a fibrous material of good quality. Often used in... It's time for Zhang Li's lectures on... <laughs> we shall not speak of the details, right? Hello, free money. Goodbye, working for a living. Hey, boss. Do you sell silk flowers here? Silk flowers? We certainly do. Which kind would you like? Which kind? The, uh, the good kind? The best kind? Ugh, you ignorant shoppers. Always coming in here with your stupid questions. Golden House Maiden, Valley Weaver, and Fate's Yearning. One of each to start with, if you don't mind. My goodness, this gentleman is quite the connoisseur. You two must be his servants. Please refrain from any further attempts to con- Now then, please peruse at your leisure. Do let me- Silk flowers exhibit different properties based on how their environmental conditions differ from their ancestral habitat. Nevertheless, the- Just look at the abundant foliage here. And these stamens, by contrast, this variety thrive. Lastly, this strain is silk flowers have all but disappeared from the wild today due to geographical changes over Liu's history. Most are not grown by horticulturalists. Wow, a true connoisseur. Most of that was news even to me. I possess but a smattering of trivial knowledge. My traveler friend is the one to watch. They are on track to set foot in every corner of the world. Oh, Mr. Zhongli, you're way too humble. So, which silk flower did you want anyway? I'll take them all, boss. Again? 
How can I put this? When purchasing opera tickets, it is natural to decide based on which singer has the most melodious voice. The same logic applies when purchasing a pet bird. But this silk flower purchase is not an analogous case. The same logic does not apply. Perhaps you don't know. Tradition states that we should decoct perfume from different subspecies of silk flower when making an offering to a statue of the Seven. Rex Lapis will then make his own choice between the scents. Like several other tedious and complicated traditions, this one has become simplified over time. But this is the only rite of parting to take place for one of the seven in 3,700 years. As such, I do think we should honor tradition down to the last detail in this case. Now that's settled, a question. You forgot to bring money again? Uh, if I may interject... Did yes, in a sense. Gosh, well, why didn't you say so? I heard the awful news about what happened at this year's Rite of Dissension. It would be bad luck to say it out loud. But I've been worried about our dear lo- Since these fla- Are you serious? Why wouldn't I be, if he hadn't written those poems in praise of my wares? Huh. So much folklore here revolves around Liyue's deity making cameo appearances in support of local businesses. Thank you, boss. I think I speak for all of us when I say that your generosity has saved our skins. Our skins? You were the one who forgot to bring money! Please, it's the least I could do. So, now that we've got the flowers, how do we make the perfume? Ideally, with the help of an expert. Unfortunately, none of my acquaintances have personal experience in the art of decoction. Talk about first world- Hence, I need you to help by asking- So this time, we get to go around town looking for nice- I will wait for you near the stack. Maybe we can find some good candidates at the Adventurer's Guild. <gasps> Let's ask Lauren! She's master of the Leeway branch, right? Can't catch me! Catch me! <laughs> Hello, free money. Goodbye, working for a living. Lauren, we need to ask you for a favor. <laughs> I stopped accepting commissions a long time ago. Sorry, you two, but you'll just have to ask another adventurer. Oh, it's not that kind of favor. It's just a teeny... <laughs> wow. Just wow. Do I look like the kind of girl who wears perfume to you? I think you're underestimating the kind of person I am. Well, Paimon thinks you smell amazing. So come on, Lon. Now that you mention it. Oh, it must be from the Ching... Aha! Uh -huh. The truth... Uh, no, they were from a dis... Anyway, this is a pointless con... The fortune teller, right? Paimon rem... Thanks, Lon! See you around! Hello? We've come to ask you a question. Perfume? I rarely... That said, some of the cosmetics I use... Since I usually set up my stall by the docks, I avoid perfume like... That's the worst thing by... While we're on the subject, have you never heard anyone mention Ying Ar's homemade perfume? Ying Air? Oh, as in scent of spring Ying Air? Yes, that's her. Many a rich family's daughter has gotten her to make perfume for them. Apparently, her homemade product is better than anything you'll find on the market. Great! This is just the intel we need! Finally, we're getting somewhere!
Well, hello. You found... What? How did you know we were coming? Oh, I heard a room. Actually, I was starting to worry you were... Snooping around. What can I say? People... Relax. I know why you're here. Three in one go. You have extreme tastes for someone your age. <clears throat> Is that the best you could... Zhang Li was right. People don't remember... As one of my favorite... That went over Paimon's head a little. <laughs> In short, I'm happy to help. So, where is a good place for making sweet, sweet perfume? Where is that, Mondstadt? We're only making some perfume. There's no need to go to such ridiculous lengths. Somewhere closer to home will do. Let's go for the kitchen. I've had a word with Chef Mao. We can... S Are you ready to please... What did you say? I meant make me proud. As... While well, I'm setting up, you can go... Catch me! This water will do nicely. Now, I need you to extract the silk flower essence using a crafting bench. Perfume making uses an altogether different technique from alchemy. Here, let me teach you. Very carefully, take hold of the mortar and pestle. Gently does it. You need to keep your wrist firm, so your hand... Now, use your strong hand to stir it with a persistent wrist. Ooh! You're... Now, take these and try it out on your own using a nearby crafting bench. Don't forget to do all three. They look visually identical during the essence extraction process, but I will put them into separate containers when the perfume is ready. Wow, this is some exc- The essence is- You must take care to control- So please, fo- Don't waste a drop. All three perfumes are ready. And you, my friend, were a wonderful assistant. A testament to the lengths you will go to for romance. It's so rare to see nowadays. Wow, you actually remembered my throwaway comment. You know, you're cuter than people give you credit for. If I didn't have my guard up, I can see how easily one could be taken in. Anyway, shall I give you a brief overview of each scent? It might just help you match the right scent to the right occasion. Paimon 
wants to hear this. This first one is sweet as candy, straight out of a fairy tale. Younger women will love it. The second one is for those with more refined tastes, the first choice for daughters of high society. Finally, the third one has a soft but lingering scent, like a mist that captures the last light of dusk. Mature women adore this one. All clear? Don't get them mixed up now. You'll root good. Be sure to come visit if you ever... I'll leave you with some part. One who tries to sail three... <laughs> come and hang out. Let's take these three perfumes over to the Statue of the Seven. Mr. Zhang Li's probably been waiting a while. Compared to the watch that Rex Lapis's statues have kept. <laughs> well, how can a person compete with a statue? That is true. Well, have you brought the perfumes? Three sets, and not one. <sighs> Thank you both. Let us offer them up. This is the first kind of perfume. Miss Yinger said that it's sweet as a dream. This is the second kind. It's got an elegant smell and the... D the third kind has a gentle but lingering fragrance. Something, something like the dusk mist. And it's a favorite of mature ladies. Oh, what was that? That's the one older ladies like, right? Does that mean that Rex Lapis is actually an older lady? <laughs> Perhaps, perhaps. Rex Lapis has taken on countless forms. Perhaps that really was one of them. What a shame. We only got to see the giant dragon form, and... <sighs> Let's hope the chi Sing can catch the real killer. We can leave that to the authorities. Let us focus. So, we finished another step in our preparations. What's next? Next, I would like the two of you to help me borrow the cleansing bell. Cleansing bell? At present, a friend of mine named Madame Ping is the guardian of the cleansing bell. Sure, but aren't you going Ah, I have certain reasons why I cannot be there in person. Man, why has he got to be so secretive this time? Don't underestimate the beetle. They can be some of the toughest little guys around. Yes, you can. Yes, you can. Want to know what's on this beetle's diet? Sweat and tears, that's what. That's how it gets stronger. I think we can all learn something from that. Can't catch me. Uh, 
all things must change. Hmm, youngster, are you here to admire the flowers? Ah, but it's a shame. These glazed lilies have... What happened to them? Back in my day, people said that glazed lilies can read human hearts. If they heard beautiful sounds like laughter and singing, they would also bloom joyfully. But if they heard too much wild gossip or slander, they would quickly wither away. So that means these flowers feel what's happening in Lilith? Yes. The rumors of Rex Lapis's death. Some say it was a Fatui plot. Others say that the Chising made it all up. And still others, this harbor is like a... Well, I shall say... Ah, that old trinket. An old friend of mine used to wear it on his purse. He saw me gazing at it often and gave it to me. But he told me then that if someone should come to borrow that bell, I should not be loath to part with it. It has been many years, and who knows how many times someone has come to borrow this bell. Still, though, I can't recall when. Oh, these old bones. That's right, Granny. We'll follow you back home, and, um, we can have... All right, children. There is no... Uh, do you live near here, Granny? Oh. But this is Eugene Terrace. It's gotta be expensive. Oh, an old lady like me can't afford to buy a place in this city. See this ceramic teapot? My entire household is in here. How does that work? Oh, youngsters. I simply mean that the bell is somewhere inside this teapot, and you are quite welcome to borrow it, if you can find it. Arataki numero uno ito, here in the flesh. <laughs> huh? Where are we? What just happened? Youngsters, this is where this old woman keeps all her things. Quickly now, go fetch that bell. Here, so many cobwebs. <laughs> it seems I really haven't cleaned it in a long while. Sorry to trouble you, children. Please help an old lady clean up.
freeze. Let's roll. Dodge this. some of this. So sorry. Boba, get them! I must leave no stone up. Let's roll! One of these two. Or at least we wouldn't have to camp outside. Catch me. Oh, you found it. <laughs> Youngsters are so quick on their feet. Now, let me All right, that'll do. <laughs> Come on out now, children.
in and out in no time. An adeptus as to whether I am one or not, child. Ah, <sighs> Hyman kind of knows what you mean. But don't you think it's weird? Oh, don't be silly. But no matter what, to cry, catch the murderer. Now that you have come to borrow the bell, I guess that perhaps an old friend of mine has finally decided to take matters into their own hands. So, why would I be unwilling to lend you the bell? Hey! It belongs to Granny! We're supposed to return what we borrow! Oh, let you keep it. <laughs> but this bell gets homesick sometimes. Who knows? It might find its way back into these... Well... Oh, and... Do that... If we will! Can't catch me! Indeed. This is the cleansing bell. Let's place the perfume we've prepared inside. Of course. How would I... That's suspicious. Oh, yes! That old granny asked us to tell you something. If you have the time, you can come over for tea. I don't have much to offer, but you can always count on an old lady for a pot of tea. <laughs> that tone does not suit you. Still, her teapot is indeed very good. There are none better for brewing tea. When a suitable time arrives, I'll bring a spot of fine tea and pay. So what's the next step in our preparations? Hmm. Next. Ooh, Paimon. <laughs> no, no. I will explain it to you. But I Oh! Sh Can't catch me! Yes, thank you. It's rare. Well, this is Mr. We've talked about a whole bunch of things while traveling with him. He seems to know Liyue's favorite topics, money and government. Well, that's because I... <laughs> Chill finally crafted... To I have made... Indeed. I took the lib... As for the... Ah, Paimon's her dad need... Huh? The design of this kite displays a firm graph. These... Markings of tree and justice flows across the surface. <laughs> well then, Granny Shen, I shall take these back with me. Well, allow me. Hey, it's Child! <laughs> no, I see Mr. Zhang Li's the same as ever. He knows a great deal about money and about the tribe. Or perhaps you could. How is he not that? <laughs> Child, the right of parting requires. He oh, by the way, take this bag of money. It probably. Hmm. Seems I missed out on some interesting information. I suppose I'll just have to find a more opportune. Mo Hiring help? Sure. But let me just say first that I'm a reserve member of the Adventurer's Guild. Adventure? Venturing into the mountains to capture a few crystal flies seems adventurous enough. Eh? That's not hard. Almost a bit too easy for a reserve adventurer. Nah, never mind. I'll only charge you 15,000 more. A most fair price. 
A pleasure doing business. A full day of odd jobs at Yujing Terrace. Hmm. No problem. 25,000 per day. A fair trade, yes? Whoa, that's expensive. Um, could you give us a bit of a discount on account of the whole Hero of Mondstadt thing? Hero of Mondstadt? Never heard of... Well, you may never have heard of this hero, but it's... This price will do. No loss to me for a day. Oh, help? Sure. I, Tick, always put in 100% effort into everything I do. Of course, there'll be a premium if you want me to give 110%. So what's the job? Let me see. We are still missing some wooden implements over at Yujing Terrace. They no problem. That'll be 20,000 mora for a single trip. How does that sound? Done. This is all you got? Then no can do. Child? Uh, no, no, no. He's putting up the money? How about this? Let's make a trade. Get me a single chinkson flower, and I'll consider that payment for a detour to find this child fellow. Guess we've got no choice. Have you brought the goods? Hey, that's pretty good. These things are pretty rare. With this chinkson flower, I should be able to pacify my daughter tonight. I'll make sure the work is done before I return home. All finished then? Splendid. Any leftover cash is yours to keep. You think you can buy us off with some loose chain? <laughs> well... What info do you need? Huh. Does that mean you know what he's after? Yikes! You're right! Signora! <laughs> you both need to calm down. I Just what is this about? The uh... Next, we need some everlasting incense. For this, we need to go to Boo Boo Pharmacy, the finest pharmacy in all of... Is... everything okay? Everything is fine. I was just informing them that they need not return the surplus mora. Now, if you'll excuse me, I must be going. Hyman definitely felt like Child wasn't happy with us just now.
Can't catch me. Hello! Welcome to Boo Boo Pharmacy. Huh? Did, did you hear- The reception, it seems. Boo Boo Farm. Once upon a time, Chi Chi died. Then, Chi Chi was saved by the Adepti. Now, Chi Chi is a zombie. Like this would be unimaginable in uh hello excuse me sir did you bring your i surely no prescription is needed to chi chi can get your medicine but i'm afraid that she's probably right zombies are limited to acting within the my dear chi chi we didn't bring a prescription i'm afraid but we do hope that you can still help us find some everlasting incense Okay, then. How did you manage that? But Chi-Chi helps you. You help Chi-Chi. Only fair. Since when do customers need to do favors for customer service staff? Never mind. Just think of it as a peer-to-peer -peer transaction. That way, everybody wins. Sometimes in Liyue, the art of the deal is simply about victory v Go to Mount Tianhong, find the Guizhong Ballista, and hunt a cocoa goat. Please and thank you. Hmm. Guizhong Ballista. I have heard of this device before. It's a kind of crossbow turret, installed on Mount Qinhong by an adeptus in the distant past. An early mechanical device. Located in Qianhong Pass, it was designed to automatically fire at large monsters, protecting Liyue from external threats. Mr. Zhang Li really knows Liyue inside out! Apparently not quite. This is the first I have ever heard of the Coco Goat. The Coco Goat is a legendary animal, an adept beast. Did you want to add anything else? No, just that the Coco Goat is a legendary animal. An adept beast. What it looks like. Don't know. Where to find it? Very well then. 
Let's start by investigating near the Guizhong Ballista. Perhaps we will find some clues. <sighs> what the heck is a coca goat? It's huge! Paimon can totally believe it took an Adeptus to build this. But how do you operate this thing? Just think how much strength you would need. Hmm. It is currently inoperable in any case. This device is broken. Oh, what? It broke? After millennia of wear and tear, even Adepti contraptions are difficult to maintain. Use your unlimited high society knowledge pa- Hmm. You almost make it sound like I'm some sort of bourgeois pa- That said, let me think for a moment. Ah, yes. Spare parts were made for the Guizhong Ballista when it was first built, in case it was damaged in battle. As I recall, there is a military supply post from that period somewhere inside the pass. If we can retrieve the spare parts from where they are stored, we may be able to repair the Guizhong Ballista. One just needs to understand the basic working principles of the device. So... what you're saying is that you actually understand the working principles? I have a smattering of knowledge on the topic. With the parts in hand, I could at least tinker with it. Supply post. Here, post. <laughs> Let's roll. Ah, these parts look useful. One moment. I will try to repair the device. It is done. The Guizhong Ballista is more intricately designed than I thought. Ooh! Now how do we turn it on? It's easy enough. We simply need to do this. Look, it even has a scope. Over here we have... nothing. And over there... Hey! Just what do you... So you fixed up this tur Not a turret. A huh! Are you blind or something? This area is supposed to be chock full of... Last time we approached them, a few of us risked our lives to disarm it. The next thing you'll be repairing is your faces! And that's a... Tut tut. Vandalite. It is not we who... Huh? <laughs> 
Leave it all to me. Boba, get them! What's the hurry? Catch me! Can't catch me. Can't catch me. Want a taste of my hammer? Leave it all to me. Hey, stop! Nice and Oh, so sorry. Cool it. <laughs> Bam! Troubling ourselves over this rabble is not worth the time. We should focus on our contract with Chi-Chi. Oh, yeah, that! 
A search using the Guizhong Ballista revealed no... What's more, a contraption built... <sighs> Which means... The Paimon wouldn't go that far. We did something positive, right? <sighs> we won't solve anything while standing here and racking our brains. Let's return to Boo Boo Pharmacy, explain that we could not find a Coco Goat, and review our next step. Good idea. We did our best, and... Can't catch me. <laughs> Forgive us. We were unable to. <sighs> what a disappointment. Chi Chi? Well, cocoa goat milk is tasty. So tasty. Much better than normal goat milk. Only an Adepta Beast could make such tasty milk. I'm sorry. I have a poor memory. I cannot remember the name of the milk. That's why I wrote it down. Where did I put it? Ah, here. This is the name. Coconut milk. Huh? <sighs> I owe you both an apology. I hastily agreed to what appeared to be an equitable agreement with this zombie child, when perhaps I should have undertaken further due diligence. Never mind, Zhongli. You didn't know. As the Liyue proverb goes, all things are random and... Um... So how are you supposed to predict anything? Literally no one could have seen this coming. Excuse me, everyone. But Paimon's gonna leave the job of shattering- No... Im... Impossible... Seems Chi-Chi took this pretty hard. <laughs> Someone learnt a valuable life lesson today, then. Thank you all for looking after my little Chi-Chi. Might I ask who? Ah, how rude of me. I'm Baiju, boss of the Boo Boo Pharmacy. I meant that Chi-Chi was the boss. Turns out it's some wacko who wears medicinal ingredients around his neck. What a sorry state of affairs. This little mascot is even more of a simpleton than Chi-Chi. Ah, the medicine... the snake is speaking! I prefer to stay silent, but faced with strangers, I must speak. <laughs> Don't mind Chung Sheng. She's a good girl, really. As for you... Do you sell everlasting incense in this fine establishment? Everlasting incense? Why, of course we do. Phew, at last. Things are fine. Three million more. Top quality. Guaranteed. Aw, oh, too bad the Chi-Sing have taken it over for now. Security will be tighter than usual. Hmm. Three million. An innocuous number in and of itself. It's a crazy number. We'd never be able to make that much money. <laughs> This is correct. What are we gonna do? Is this the part where we go cr- <laughs> Come on.
Coco Goat. Coco Goat. <laughs> my sides hurt. Oh, my goodness. I cannot believe you fell for that. Hey, less laughter, more s <laughs> I'm almost in tears over here. Ah, uh, thank you. That was the best laugh I've had in a long time. Excuse me, sir. Dr. Baiju, isn't it? Truly honored. I'm Child, one of the Fatui Harbingers. Forgive my odd... If Ubu Pharmacy needed a stable supply of, say, coconut... Strange. I... Coconut milk. Baiju... Ah, yes, of course, Chi-Chi. That's like... zero... Hmm. Two million nine hundred and ninety thousand. Also an innocuous number in and of itself, though practically speaking, it is a whole ten thousand less than... Well, now that this is settled, we must head back to Yujing Terrace. Mr. Child, Dr. Baiju, Little Miss Chi-Chi, see you soon. Ah, that lot is an absolute right. So, you've been eavesdropped. Yes, Master Child. They sp Well, well, well. Ningguang and her chi sing cronies. I apologize, but I warned you, didn't I? Catch me! <laughs> Can't catch me! Well, as it stands, we've hired helpers, and we've acquired the everlasting incense. The completion of our preparations is not far off. Whew, finally! Well, Traveler, have you gained anything from our adventure so far? Odd. <laughs> Which is it, I wonder? The questions that such travels raise are ever so complicated. Well, I'll leave to treat you to a meal. Oh, ah, yes, don't worry. Tonight, I shall take you both to an old hole in the wall. Praise through Hole in the wall? As in a cool restaurant? <laughs> Indeed. Let us meet near the harbor at...
Don't underestimate the beetle. They can be some of the toughest little guys around. Yes, you can. Yes, you can. Want to know what's on this beetle's diet? Sweat and tears, that's what. That's how it... Get strong! Arataki numero uno ito here in the flat. Ah, you're here. 
There's no need to order. Third round knockout is not for life. I ordered some wine fermented sweet. If it is to your liking, dear custom. Hey, there's even a story to. Besides fine wine. But when I say ambiance, I ref. As you all know, high above the land of Lee. What does it mean to have all seeing eyes? Imagine. The weather is clear. Behold! The. They say that when Lady Ningguang ponders important affairs, she retreats to her jade chamber with none but her three closest confidants in tow. Why brings she these trusted three to sift through sources, dig through documents, looking for information? Piece by piece, facts and figures paint a picture on the walls of the chamber. But well before the wall is filled, Lady Ningguang's mind is made up. Having made her call, she has every last document shredded, and whoosh, she scatters the shavings out her window. Ah, look at them, how they billow in the wind like a sudden swirling blizzard. As the fragments fall, Traces of text flicker before the eyes of the merchants of Liyuan, like ink stains and white snow. The saying goes, the rarest treasures in the land are the words brought by the paper snow. For the words of the Tianquan have the power to move mountains, and all throughout the land know it. These are but scraps of paper, and yet merely grasping one or two of them will surely gift you a f- Tiantuan Ningguang, Liyue locals talk about, huh? At last I have found you. Who's there? Wait, I am not with the Millilith, nor am I here to claim your bounty. However, I am an emissary. Well, in concrete terms, I- Ningguang sent you? My apologies, you who have returned from Ch but I have with me a letter from Lady Ningguang. She invites you to her- An official invitation? Lady Ningguang said, invite him to- I wish to meet him at the Jade Chick. And with that, the- What we've received an invitation will be meeting people that have way more money- <laughs> An invitation to the You'd best be on your way now. Don't worry, we will-
catch me. Catch me! What Lynn Bookhouse? Or not. Feel free to look around. There's no obligation to buy. We're looking for the Leo A volume of the Tibet Travel Guide. Do you Sorry, dear. We huh? But the Monster volume. The thing is, it barely sold any copies. Well, that's a shame. The fact remains that I don't have. But who's Ching? A book collector who lives in Chingsa Village. He's a complete... He was a regular customer here back when he... Did somebody say out of print book? Is there a chance that volume six of Le... Apologies, my leash. Since you and I are both in search of law... My pleasure, fa... Should we ask here if they have a copy of the Leo A volume of the Tibet Travel Guide? It's super duper interesting! Catch me. Add Astra Abyssosk.
catch me. will be frozen. Attaboy! Tch! Tch! Can't catch me. Catch me! I'm on a roll.
Can't catch me. Can't catch me. Best flavor in the world? The sweet, sweet taste of victory. And that's why I've never spent a... any of my snacks. I've won them all, fair and square. <laughs> That's right. Can't catch me. <laughs> Can't catch me. I'm on a roll. Catch me! Oh, 
can't catch me. Catch me! Free money, goodbye working for a living. Can't catch me. Can't catch me.
it's time for a snowball fight. You're never gonna win, though. I. Uh, 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 yeah. <sighs> 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 Catch me! Boba, get them! Oh, so sorry. I'm on a roll. Pay your dues. Nice and spicy. I must leave no stone on. Free money, goodbye working for a living. Catch me! Steady as stone! Boba, get them! This moment will be frozen in time. Who wants some of this? Attaboy!
can't catch me. Can't catch me. Can't catch me. See you at the rematch. Can't catch me. I must leave no stone. Nice and spicy. Your toast. Freeze. Don't get frostbite. Let it roll. Yeah. <laughs> 
I'm on a roll. You can't catch me. You can't catch me. Catch me. Hello, free money. Goodbye, working for a living. Can't catch me. Catch me. Ha! 
Free money, goodbye working for a living. Can't catch me. Catch me! Hello, free money. Goodbye, working for a living. Can't catch me! Men don't carry umbrellas. <laughs> oh boy! Wow, it's really starting to pick up. Uh, quick, come on, get yours out. Leave it all to you. Here to play. Uba, get them. Hey, yeah. Let me amuse you. Oh, myself. so sorry. Cool it. Blink. Let's roll! Real men don't carry umbrellas. <laughs> oh boy, wow, it's really starting to pick up. Uh, quick, come on, get yours out. Arataki numero uno ito here in the flesh. <laughs>
best flavor in the world. The sweet, sweet taste of victory. And that's why I've never spent a single more on any of my snacks. I've won them all, fair and square. <laughs> that's right. Can't catch me. I'm on a roll. <laughs> I wonder if you'd like it. Heavens are smiting me, smiting me to smithereens. Uh-huh. And what do you want? We've heard you've got tons of old books lying around, and we want to borrow the Leo and volume of the Tevat Travel Guide. Huh. Don't get me started on the topic of my books. After the chasm was sealed off, the family mining business started going south. Then the Fatui started working to sabotage me. To pay off my debts... I had no choice but to pawn off my beloved book collection. Every last book. Wrong. That was my life's work. I devoted my entire life to curating, collecting, caring for them, and, and now they're gone. <sighs> Unless you have other business here, I'm done talking to you. Goodbye. Off. Please tell me that you didn't pawn volume. Legend of the Shattered Halberd. What? But we... That work was an epic. But over time, it was barely any copies of the first. The later edition inexplicably went. Yes, that's right. How did I forget? You mean, you mean you still have? Yes. It, it hey, Chang. You've got some nerve keeping me and my boss waiting. I'm sure you don't need me to remind you. Oh, but you know I can't afford to give a 70% discount on the price. I'd never be able to buy my collection back. That's your business. <laughs> The question is, do you want your books, or do you want food on your plate? Perhaps you'd like to take your books with you to an early grave. <sighs> you... <sighs> Whoa there, friend. Come on. This gentleman is either willing to make a deal or he's not. You can't force him to sell against his will. Just who do you think you are? <laughs> Keep your nose out of other people's business. My liege, I am but one who comes to the aid of this gentleman in his moment of need. I am Tsingcho, disciple of the Guhua clan. <laughs> Guhua clan? Did you hear this clown? He thinks he's a Guhua master in this day and age. <laughs> Oh, there was me thinking the last granddads of Guhua had keeled over and died by now. <laughs> Who were you supposed to be then, huh? Some sort of Guhua messiah? Justice is blind to our backgrounds, my friend. That just makes me someone trying to do the right thing. But you? The weasel who does the tiger's bidding may be less powerful than his master, but he is no less guilty. Get a load of this guy. <laughs> just you wait. You'll be sorry you crossed me. And you, Chang? You're selling that core lapis whether you like it or not. 
Oh, how the wolves prey upon the fallen tiger. My days are numbered. So, just to come back to what we were talking about early... Oh, what does it matter now? I can't expect anybody to care about me anymore. But since you did stick up for me, please, just take this book and leave me in peace. Three long years I have waited for this day. Words cannot express my gratitude. I, Xingqiu, vow to repay this great act of generosity. All right, give it a rest. Just bring it back when you're finished. Sorry, but I'm not about to put my hopes in some self-professed Guhua disciple. Hey, where are you going? We've still got a job to do over here. Don't underestimate the beetle. They can be some of the toughest fortune. little guys around. Yes, you can. Yes, you can. Want to know what's on this beetle's diet? Sweat and tears, that's what. That's how it gets stronger. I think we can all learn something from that. Now I can get back everything I lost. Best flavor in the world? The sweet, sweet taste of victory. And that's why I've never spent a single moron on any of my snacks. I've won them all, fair and square. <laughs> that's right. boy <laughs> Steady as stone Freeze 
Catch me. Catch me. No stone. Let's roll. Catch me! Never underestimate the ability!
Don't underestimate the beetle. They can be some of the toughest little guys around. Yes, you can. Yes, you can. Want to know what's on this beetle's diet? Sweat and tears, that's what. That's how it gets stronger. I think we can all learn something from that. Catch me. <laughs> Can't catch me.
can't catch me. Arataki numero uno ito here in the flesh. <laughs> Don't underestimate the beetle. They can be some of the toughest little guys around. Yes, you can. Yes, you can. Want to know what's on this beetle's diet? Sweat and tears, that's what. That's how it gets stronger. I think we can all learn something from that. Best flavor in the world? The sweet, sweet taste of victory. And that's why I've never spent a single more on any of my snacks. I've won them all fair and square. <laughs> that's right.
You like reading, huh? Mr. Five Second Hero. Ho-ho, oh, amazing. I never saw that coming. Hello? Shincho? Anybody in there? No wonder this book is so highly sought after. How can they bully poor old- Don't forget me. I'm in too. Oh, so now you can hear what we're saying. The reason I borrowed this book is that it would be a real pity if- Ch And I meant every word I said to Cheng the night. I will be custodian of this book. And I will- Of course I do. An initial plan and- Give me a second to reflect. It- You're still here? <laughs> what is this, a game? <laughs> I gotta hand it to the goofball clan. What you lack in numbers and talent you make up for in guts. Oh, I'm sorry. Did I say goofball clan? I meant goo hua clan. <laughs> There's a saying that goes, the insect that shakes the oak tree. Uh, quit quoting pro- Please leave this place. <sighs> it's cute that you want it, but you picked the wrong time, you little punk. I may be young, my liege, but the path I- Oh, great speech. Are you here to play with me? No, my soul! <laughs> Leave it all to me. A oh, so sorry. <laughs> Freeze! <laughs> Bam! That was just a regular pendant you were wearing, not a vision. You won this round, but you better watch your back. This isn't over. Would it be too much to hope they've learned? Yes, though I try to avoid you, though I long to restore Guhua to its... They've gone for now, but they'll be back looking... I'll see to it that no harm comes... It's not like the Fatui to pick up. There must be a deeper love... He mentioned Gentry Maltai. That idea works. Me? I have other things to look into. You really have stuff to do? Wow. So that's how that turned. Ugh. This guy is so. <laughs> Fine. From now on. You go first. One more page, and I'll go and stretch my legs. Just one. Catch me!
Who goes there? Really? He didn't mention the master's dealing with some urgent business today. Urgent business? <sighs> the master. So, where is he? I'm sorry. The master is stressed that we must not disclose that information to just anyone. Uh, no, I, I, I mean, yes, yes, you are. <laughs> I, I, I meant no offense. Please, believe me. I, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I, I beg for your mercy, please. Well, my master has much more. Luckily for you, your bad attitude will... Thank you, thank you. May your... Nice work, Pine. Is that so? Anyway... Seems like the VIP co In that case... Seems business is booming at the Shinua kiosk. No one should notice if we blend in there. But either way, if we want to know what kind of shady business they're up to, we better be careful. Oh, I'm on a roll. <laughs> Catch me! Catch me! I understand. I do. Please, do not worry. You have my word that the order will be completed as promised. Hmm. The subordinate I sent was not quite so optimistic in his appraisal. Is somebody being uncooperative? Uh, we just ran into a minor procurement problem, is all. We haven't managed to purchase the Core Lapis yet. But it's nothing for you to worry about. If Chang the Ninth won't sell, I can buy from someone else. That would be most ideal. I remind you again that the Fatui care only about the result. We are willing to lend a certain degree of support to this transaction. But if it is not completed in time, you may suddenly find our goodwill comes at a price you cannot afford. I understand. We shall see when... <clears throat> Darn that old... So, Mr. Ch... Who knows if Gula Geek is... Catch me! I see. I guessed as much. Did you really guess, or are you just sick? The course of action we must take is my liege. For reasons that I... There is no need for you to read the contents of the letter. Ugh. This writing is super hard to read. Python can't make heads or tails of it. Uh, 
<laughs> Hence why I said there's no need for- The Feiyun Commerce Guild will have someone who can understand it. But why would you want to get them involved? They're one of the big wig- Since we got to Liyue, Paimon keeps hearing people mention it. Seems they oversee a lot of business that goes on around here. Having such big backing would be great and all, but are you sure they'd want to have- No need to worry about that. From what I know, once they have read the carefully reasoned and passionately argued case I put forth in this letter, they will certainly be moved. Gentry Moutsai must be taught a lesson he will never forget. This is something we cannot do on our own. Also, I do not wish for anyone else to know of my involvement in this. Why not? You're only doing this to try and help Ching the Ninth, right? To silently disappear at the matter's conclusion, concealing one's name and contribution. This is the chivalrous thing to do. To savor the memory is each droplet of kindness I receive, I am duty-bound to repay with a welling spring of gratitude. I seek neither praise nor reward. That sounds very lovely. But be honest, you just want them to do it so you can carry on reading your book, don't you? Thank you in advance for delivering this letter to the Feiyun Commerce Guild. Someone from the guild should be able to receive you near Lioli Pavilion. Hey! Stop ignoring Paimon! Arataki numero uno ito here in the flesh. <laughs> Us, we come bearing news of a matter requiring your assistance. Uh, it's all in this letter. A letter? Oh, I see. This again. Oh, don't mind me. I was just speculating. Let me give this a read. Can we actually read this thing? Is it even written in the common tongue? Hmm. Yes, the script is inimitable by the uninitiated. Honored guests, you must both be wary from your long journey. Please allow the Feiyun Commerce Guild to be your host for tonight. Please rest assured that the matter written about has been duly received. We just need some time to prepare. Please take a seat here in Leo Lee Pavilion, where you may enjoy some light refreshments while taking in the ocean view. Consider it a- Yay! Tasty snacks! They're giving us the vi- Of course. We treat visitors with the utmost respect here at the Feiyun Commerce Guild. When honored guests grace us with their presence, far be it from us to shirk our duty to them. Please, this way. And Paimon thought we'd get kicked out. Paimon didn't think Guhua... Thank you for your patience. With the amount of wealth and power Gentry Mountsai has, it will take more than a slap on the wrist to get through to him. For him to correct the error of his ways, 
he must feel for himself the same suffering he has inflicted on Chang the Ninth. Since Gentry Maltsai's business has to do with Core Lapis, we simply need to buy up all the stock there is in Liu. That will put him in a... Deprived of the necessary raw materials, even the best craftsperson... Great idea! That'll be sure to mess things up between him and the Fatui. But Liu is huge. Is it really possible to buy up every last bit of Core Lapis in the harbor? With the time scale we are on, it is indeed a challenge. Hence, as stated in the letter, we must ask for your further cooperation in the matter. First, there are a number of vendors in the city you will... There is also some unsold core lapis at the chasm. You will need to purchase that too. Finally, there is... Alrighty, so three sellers in the city, another one at the chasm, and then Ching the Ninth. Roger that! Of course, we are not expecting you to cover the costs. Wow, so many... <laughs> Well, this is not all you need to do is strike a d once you have purchased all the core lapis. Gotta hand it to Guhua Geek. This is some seriously solid work for a guy who lives in a fantasy world. Let's do this in the order the guy said. First the sellers in the city, then the chasm, and then last but not least, Chang the Ninth. Catch me! Any you want well, that's sad not oh it's oh uh, don't worry thank you for your page can't catch me good day my friend Oh, I thought you were here to... No, that I still have. Although I ship it all to factories in Snezhnaya. I don't... Too much hassle, not enough return. Sorry. What? Uh, no, 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 no. Give me a second to think. Um, uh, all right, I'll do it. Just need you... Clearly no shortage of cash flow in Liu. My... I should open a store here. You can't be... Give me that trance. Oi! Shh! Keep your voice down. Oh. 
All of it? Though my business may not seem so big, I should warn you that I can get what you need, both legitimately and not so legitimately. <laughs> Best you give me an actual number. All of it would be far more than you actually want. Fe Feyun Commerce Guild? Well, why didn't you say so? If it's for the Feyun Commerce Guild, then sign on the dotted line, and I'll start getting... My friend, what can I do? can't beat the atmosphere here in Thieve. My friend, what can you can't I beat do? the atmosphere here in Thieve. Best flavor in the world? The sweet, sweet taste of victory. And that's why I've never spent a single more on any of my snacks. I've won them all fair and square. <laughs> that's right. Taki numero uno ito here in the flesh. <laughs> There, are you in charge of the core lapis here? Aha, finally. I thought you might come. I hear the Feyun Commerce Guild has been buying up all the core lapis stock in Leo Harbor. As it happens, I do have a batch of core lapis that has well, the original buyer's price was already. Are you serious? We spent less than two mil. I'm afraid it has to go to the highest bidder. I'm breaching an existing agreement by selling to you. Uh, look, you have your problems to deal with, and I have mine. You can take it or leave it. So if you're not buying, please leave me alone. All right, all right. We'll pay. When we get back, we'll just have to tell the guild that we'll sell. Wait. <laughs> Surely there's no need for that. Please, don't do this. It might be the guild's money, but we'll have a tough time explaining to our boss why we spent so much in one go. 
If he asks, all we can do is mention your name and say you gouged us over the price. I... I understand. I'm sorry. There's just one other thing, though. I don't know where exactly, but if I can't retrieve the goods, I can't sell them to you either. So maybe you could go and... Oh, thank you very much. This is a lot to ask, I know. That's that, then. Well, no time to... Why the long face? <laughs> You're alive, aren't you? Don't the underestimate face. the beetle. <laughs> they can You're be alive, some of the toughest you? little guys around. Yes, you can. Yes, you can. Want to know what's on this beetle's diet? Sweat and tears, that's what. That's how it gets stronger. I think we can all learn something from that. Best flavor in the world? The sweet, sweet taste of victory. And that's why I've never spent a single more on any of my snacks. I've won them all fair and square. <laughs> that's right. Catch me. Can't catch me. Can't catch me. Huh! <laughs> 
Make a note of the location. We'll see. Another... Can't catch me. Catch me. All five of them. Can you sell us the core lapis now? Oh, wonderful. Thank you both. Yes, let's make this official. I also hope you could put in a good word with your boss. Done and dusted. Yeah! We make a great team, don't we? Now for the final stop on our core lapis crawl. To Chang the Ninth's place! Just who I was hoping to see. I was just thinking to myself, you wouldn't know anything about- Oh, don't worry. You- Oh? What? what? Huh? Oh, oh, I see now. You're, you're in- But I don't care who you are. A discount of 70% is simply impossible. No need. We'll take it- y You mean you're not- I can't believe it. But gentry mount size thug- If Paimon told you they're not gonna bother you again- Huh. Oh, but tell me, what? Actually, it's for a commission. Can't go into... T Thank you. Thank you a million... Good people always get what's coming to them in the... Anyway, let's get going. <laughs>
Welcome. The final act in this drama would... You better believe it! Uh, well... Divine Halberd and Ominous Sword. The way the story develops across the... How blessed we are to have... And this is related to... It's not. But when something... And it is thanks... Why does Paima... Uh... Think about it. He panics. He hears a rumor. Gentry Mountsai. So regardless of... So it was you! Speak of the devil. I went everywhere. Try... Core Lapis is hardly... A... We are not Percy. Was it not one of your own men? <clears throat> you clear... Master? If you please. Steady as stone. Out of the frying pan. Freeze. Oh, coming through. <laughs> Bam. The <laughs> Impressive. You are. Their strength is almost spent. Might I remind you that the Fatui's relationship with you extends to business matter? What? Then figure it out. D don't go. My lord, what are you doing? Thanks to this valiant young man. My lord? You? You are. Indeed, my liege. I am. Drats! Gentry Mautzai. I shudder to think what the Fatui will do with you if you fail to provide their core lapis. You meddling swine. Well... Since you asked Chang the Ninth for three times the market... How dare you subject me to such... Deep breaths now. This is... I... I, I... <clears throat> Fine. On behalf of the Feiyun Commerce Guild, I thank you for your bit. You? Funny sp so that massive stash of twas but a paltry sum. I got you are too kind. You have yikes! P Paimon read in one of these martial artist novels that when rich heirs like you get angry at someone, you <laughs> Paimon's toast and sorry. Calm down. Since <laughs> save me, save me. This is not a drill. Jokes aside, I have the two of you. Meanwhile, Legend of the Shattered. I did nothing. And hence, to have made such valiant... My lord, uh, forgive the intrusion. Please inform my father that might this meritorious act come... For all your clever long work. <laughs> A reward! Ah, uh, it seems whatever I say... That... Oh, I didn't realize... Thank you in advance for returning the book for me. I will take my...
Finally, you're back. This morning, the pawnbroker showed up and gave me back my entire collection. I'm positive that you must have been behind this once again. Thank you. Thank you from the... Please don't say that. The Chang family was a person. Since then, I've saved... Were it not for you, this bear... Wow, that's the second... I'm sorry, what? Uh, nothing? Oh, here's your book back. Wonderful. Legend... Do people really look... Actually, the art is centuries old. And to instigate a revive... In any case... Ooh, ah, uh, what does it matter? It's yours to keep. In it, my ore is sold, and my tre- uh, wh What? What was that? Pyma oh, that little rascal. Catch me! 